hello ionizationx.com holding up my end of the deal here as you can see that's about a two inch tall fuel cell going directly into a uh, contactor off of an air conditioner unit that's the igniter from an air conditioner unit and uh, these two dodds leads I don't know if you could see you could see the rightmost green lead the positive terminals on the right same with the uh, left green lead positive terminal on the right which means the left lead is the positive supply and the right lead is the negative supply this is a uh, zero uh, whichever you call it a zero uh, can't even think straight my mind's blank the red wire is the positive feed to the primary coil there's a miniature ferrite capacitor in there I had a uh, trying to make this as quick as possible I have one around here that you can see This is what this is what that coal looks like on the inside. There's a little there's a primary in there. It's wrapped just a very few times, but you can see the secondary there because this one's clear. Uh, anyway, there's a better view of that primary in there, but that's basically what we're using here, and uh, that's basically what that one is. I have several of those around. Uh, here's here's another one of them oil coils uh like that these this white wire here is the secondary coal that's the one lead output this is the other the only lead output on the secondary we're using is this from the mini tesla coil going to the gate the red wire is going directly to just like the mini tesla circuit to the variac over there see the positive terminal on the variac quite a mess here uh, and then the negative terminal here is running directly to the MOSFET on the source leg and I have it there I have it soldered actually where you can see clearly how to do this to a 224J I believe that to be a 224 uh, nanofarad capacitor and that's a shunt diode uh, with a 22,000 ohm resistor. Uh, you guys can look that circuit up later, but zero point energy. Let's see if we can get this thing running. You will you will blow a die, uh, the MOSFET just about every time you run this thing. I'm going to start. I'm just going to let her sit right here. I have not run this today. She's running on... I don't even know how many votes. But, uh, she's running. Just hope I have enough video here to record. She's definitely running. And again, the fuel cell. There she goes. You can see it. I tried this with Stan's Dodd. It did not work. I've tried it with other uh, a few other dodge. I didn't get quite a bit as good results. It does take a second for the uh, cell to become charged. There she goes. You can see her flowing. This is an open circuit. There's the cell. There's the dodge. There's the choke. Notice it's an air core. It does not have an iron. You put iron in there. It doesn't work as well. Uh, I'm sure you can experiment with different sizes. And I'm curious if you add more LEDs, if it will function better, which if you look at one of Stan's diagrams, you'll see uh, you'll see a cell with a lot of LEDs in there that he's included. And uh, I'm thinking the more LEDs you put on there, for some reason, Stan's died. <clears throat> it did not work. Uh, I'm trying to zoom in here. 
But this is your zero point energy. Uh, matter of fact, I can't get this thing to zoom. This is my phone, and I don't know how much recording time I have on it. But, uh, but uh, the longer you let it run, the more it will produce. And you see that big bubble? This is uh, this is an open circuit, so uh, there's there's nothing powering this, uh, but the secondary side of the call, and it's not, it's only hooked up on one wire, which I believe is some kind of standing wave. Uh, you could probably, now the the higher the voltage you turn, I don't know what you're hearing in the microphone, but ow, damn. Uh, I'm willing to bet I just blowed that MOSFET up. Nope. I probably did blow it up. I just don't see the signs of effects. I'm going to try to blow it up. It's probably ruined by now anyway. And that, that's the first time that MOSFET's been turned on. Is what you just seen here on camera. Uh, I just... I literally just completed the circuit right before I shot this video. Uh, so I'm pretty much... I'm killing the MOSFET for you guys. And this is the first time this has been shown on the internet. No one's ever done this before, been able to get it to work. Uh, I'm not boasting or anything like that. I'm just glad that, you know, uh, that we're finally getting a start on this technology. And it, it, it's not just the fuel cell that, uh, this technology is not just about this fuel cell. It doesn't stop here. Th this is actually how you convert energy over uh, and if you look at one of Tesla's patents, you can see his, uh, energy converter where he, uh, he uses, uh, I can't even explain it, two forms of a, a generator and, uh, pushes the electricity that he generates through a ring. Like those saying, one horse can pull 8,000 pounds, two horses can pull three to four times their weight. Well, that's how these Tesla coils work. Uh, you put two of them together and you run it through the system, and they're, it's just crazy. I can't really explain it, but I understand how it works. And you can see it starting to build up there. Uh, this is a very miniature amount of voltage that I'm able to produce through such a small coil and just a MOSFET uh, with a shunt dod. And I, I would touch that to see how hot it's getting, but I don't want to throw it off and zap the MOSFET because they are easily zapped uh, with static. Matter of fact, all I got to do is touch my Variac and it will zap it. Uh, but there needs to be a tube instead of a MOSFET because for... Uh, those MOSFETs doesn't last very long. But uh, I can already see something start to smoke somewhere. So that's probably my coal. I don't know. Let me turn it all the way down. Let's see what got hot. The coal's just warm. Yeah, that MOSFET's hot. I'll go ahead and end this video. But you guys, again, uh, it's just, it's an open circuit. I mean, the cell, then, it, and if I screw this off right here, Right here. That's what you got. That's what was holding those two lids together. Just that, that one secondary just screwed on there like that. That's all that was holding it. That's what was producing that. That's what was making that production. So uh, maybe you guys can take this further. Uh, I don't have the time. Uh, I only get to test certain times of the of the year pretty much. Uh, I really don't even want to comment on that. But anyway, when I have time, uh, I do what I can. But there you go, guys. Take it. Run with it. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is small. You, you need something much greater than that. That's how it's done. Uh, keep in mind, use LEDs. Use the LEDs. Uh, when you're starting out, use the LEDs. Where you end up doesn't really matter as long as you start out and you get the results and you get to see it to work. That's normal tap water. It's got nothing in it. And, and that's just a contactor. That's a 24-volt coil for a contact, 
contactor on an air conditioning unit and that is the igniter for the gas burners on the circuit board of an air conditioner unit so there's two products there you can find in the hvac yard easily uh the mosfet does it really matter just as long as you have an end type mosfet uh, i do recommend a 224 nano farad capacitor and i do recommend a shunt dod and i do recommend uh the 22k resistor and i do recommend the very act with smoothing capacitors with a full bridge re wave rectifier and you've got to have a heat seek and and uh, and last time you're going to blow mosfet after mosfet after mosfet so get ready to blow mosfets because you're going to blow them uh hope you enjoyed and hope you can take it and do something with it Thanks, guys. Good luck.